Hey, welcome back to our channel, Display of Color. And you're live with Carrie and Scarlett in the studio. I'm going to try to get on here and see uh, if anybody's with us yet. And let's see, live chat. Yeah, I did. I did right. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. It's been a long time. Been a long time. Been a long, long, long. time. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right. And Scarlett's going to be doing some alcohol inking tonight. Mm -hmm. um, we got three people watching right now, and I can't seem to... Figure out there, say hi in the chat. Who they are. That's okay. If you want to. I mean, some people just like to be in the background. <sighs> Let me see. Let us know if somebody is willing to say mm -hmm. hi in the chat. What am I doing? Get me on. Uh, you over here? Yeah. And hit. Thank you. Mm hmm. So welcome back, you guys. It's you been can right there if you want, so so we know what's working. Just say hi. Everybody. What's up, Doc Fam? So we gotta put our little one to bed, and we have a little sight here. Who is that? Oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like someone's here. Um, so we had to put our little one to bed. And um, he had a little slight fever, so I don't know what's going on. He's running around a lot, though. We were out in the cold. It was very cold today, so I don't know if that was part of the problem. <laughs> um, I forgot to ask you to do this. So Scarlett's working on a board that I prepped for her that has been polyacrylic on both the top and the bottom and the sides. Mm. Um, it's 12 inches by 8 inches and it's about uh, three-eighths of an inch thick and I went ahead and sealed everything and put a light uh, spray paint on it um, and then we glued down her image to the top of it and then let it sit for what 24 hours um, something like that longer <laughs> yeah okay. but yeah you wanted at least a minimum of for sure 24 hours. Is there a way you can... Oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to... Yeah, the words, the words. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, we're late about that. Who knows if we'll get a... Like, the Aussie? The, uh, yeah, Australia or... Yeah. Maybe Petra from Nether Netherlands? No, she's... It's too early. Oh, is it? Yeah. It would be, like, super early. That'd be random, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Just gonna do this. Okay. So and then after she's done alcohol inking all this, she's gonna do resin coats on top of it also. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry. I thought we were situated, then apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens, though. So. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright. Mm -hmm. So what I did do is I used some golden crackle paste. Hello. <laughs> and, um, and I put texture on here, so I can show you close Oh up. my, are you really streaming live? Miss Monica, Miss Monica. Faces, we are. How hey. are you? So I just put, uh, I used, thank you. Uh -huh. So as you see, there's some texture. It's crackle paste, and I just put it on, so it's still kind of drying. So I'm going to put on my, kind of try to speed dry it a little bit, the top part at least, so that way I can alcohol ink without getting too horrible and um, so that way you can see the you know texture. Monica is so excited to see you both. I'm so excited. 
appropriate. Right? I know, right? That's even that's even what's better. That's even what's Kara, like the, the best. Kara Zygo, the art collective hey, is with hi. us. Hey, not more crooked. Okay. Um. So sorry, I'm trying to not blind you. Okay. Anywho, so that's what we're gonna do. So I found this image, and it had like slight coloring. And I thought, oh, this is so cool. I have a coloring book that I want to print once I get my scanner to work. Um, and it has, like, this kind of thing. Like, there's little people in here and a light scene and this and that. And I looked. It was on Pinterest. And I looked and looked to try to find, uh, like, who it was by or whatever. And I didn't see anything. So I can't really put an artist name. Like, it was just the pen that I had done. It was, like, some, I don't know, mass producing, like, producing type of printing place. Like, I don't think it was theirs even that they're just printing images so I don't know because I did like when I did the Google search it was like free line art is what I like Google searched in Pinterest I think so I don't know. we'll see um but yeah so that was kind of the odd hmm. um, these stencils from are they Tim Holtz is that what they are oh yes yeah, so the hmm you see how it's kind of peeling yeah, kind up? of peeling up a little bit. Yeah, I'm wondering because the smoothness. I wasn't sure if that would happen, but as it's like crackling, you know, it's trying to crackle, so it kind of, it's lifting. I think because it's so smooth. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, it was a Tim Holtz um, stencil, mm -hmm. and then I just used the golden crackle paste, and then now I'm gonna alcohol ink. So. And yeah. And then um, I will be resining it afterwards. Now this is on a clear photo paper, so it's a glossy side, clear photo paper, um, <laughs> glossy photo paper. It's um, so it's 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 not like Yupo or the back side. If you want it to be photo paper like Yupo paper, then you want to use the back side of photo paper. But I'm using the front side because it it it. It almost like stains it just like a photo image if you want to take it but it also gives it that like super vibrancy so I tend to and it's way more of a challenge to paint with and it dries really quick so I tend to really like to do that sometimes this is just 99% uh, percent isopropyl alcohol that I keep in here to like just use like watercolor you know and these glass jars so um, normally, you know, where of course your breather mask is in that. Try to keep your face away from these, and uh, for sure. So I'm just gonna try to lighten this a little bit. It looks pretty dark because it is thin. It's already crackling, but I'm sure it can do a little bit more. I asked them how they've been. Oh, cool. Okay. So weird to be back at the studio with me. I know, right? I just want to kind of hit spot, hit these. I just want to do light because I'm worried that it's not going to stay. What I should have done was scuffed it. You know, but I didn't know where I was going to lay. I just rain for it just now, so. <laughs> right? <laughs> um There's like this Tom Collins comic book I have and it totally is like this where he has like these really fun things and like images within it so and that's gonna be fun so the inks I'm gonna be using are a multitude of ranger inks as well as alcohol inks as well as one marabou this is like a super vibrant marabou. ink marabou I have some dollar around acrylic inks that I'm gonna be using as well um, here's some brass from pinata that's in this bottle if I use blending solution, it's there. So those are all the brands um, and stuff that I'm going to be just playing with. So we'll see what happens. Boop, boop, boop. So now, just, did you ever get me my Valencia? I did. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Maddox is sleeping. He's crashed out. Yeah, we had to give him some medicine, and because he had a light fever, and I don't know, I was playing with him outside a lot today, and it was like super cold, and his cheeks were like flaming red, and mm -hmm. I don't know if that had to do with it, because like, I don't know, 
I don't know. So it's just a little teeny like light favor and and we haven't gone anywhere so it's not like you can have COVID or anything like that. Like we literally are well this one does but she has a very strict regime and wears her full on respirator mask, face mask, as well as gloves and everything like that. Um Carol Seamless is here. Hi Carol. Right. So um good to see you, Carol. Kara says I'm doing well on wrestling, resting in bed with a bag of popcorn and some raisins. Nice. It's nice. an odd mixture. Popcorn, popcorn and, and raisins. raisins. Yeah, I'm not a raisin fan. I am. I actually don't mind the golden ones so much, but. Hmm? Oh. The golden oh. raisins. The regular raisins. Original. The only raisins I know. Are there other brands? No, I mean the color. The actual, they're done from the, the white grapes. Oh, is that even the brand? Mm-mm. <laughs> white, for sure, yeah. That's funny. Do my knees a mess, Carol. It's Her knees, been. It's so sad. It's so disappointing. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It hurts. It hurts. But it's not infected. Anymore, yeah. Any longer. So that's good. Yeah. That was that was stressful. And that was hard to you know. But it is loosening. Yeah. Again. The, the prosthetics loose. Again, so we have to like be really careful with her leg and and just be praying that she can just hang. Because he suggested, you know, like, I wouldn't be doing it right now with w what's going on in the world or anything and what it entails. He was just like, if you can hang with the pain, I would. I would try not to, as much as possible. Because she doesn't really have much bone to work with, too, is the other problem. So. Kara says it's yummy. What is talking oh. about her? <laughs> her raisins and popcorn. Oh, that's awesome. And Carol says she's sorry to hear. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So I did print this just in black and white. It had color to it. And like it was like a thin little bits of color pop or whatever, but it had its own black and white, I think, tones. So you know, plus I just started my new career. So the last when that one, happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this has been a while now, but yeah. <laughs> it's also been a while since you've been on. But yeah. Arlene Artvark's here. <gasps> Hi Arlene. Kara likes your ink trays. Oh thank you. Yeah, these are these are just made specifically for alcohol inks. Um it's a Ranger product. Um Tim Holtz Ranger. Same old, same old. <laughs> Pretty universal name for that. But yeah, so I love them too. So again, it's just like you can watercolor. You just put the inks in there, let them evaporate the alcohol, and then you reactivate it just like you would a watercolor pan. Um, with the such a cool concept. Mm-hmm. Be able to take alcohol ink wherever you go. Right. Well, because that's the thing is a lot of the card makers and stuff were starting. It was starting to branch out, and they were wanting to um, be able to paint. You know, with the inks on um, like Skechers, mm -hmm. like Urban Sketching. So. Monica says her stepdaughter has had two surgeries on her knee, waiting to get her replacement surgery sometime next year. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, yeah she's had, this has been her third, fourth, fourth? Third. And this goes? Fourth. Yeah, fourth. <laughs> my, uh, my surgeon here locally has sent me to a team of surgeons in Dallas. Yeah, because her he, knee is, because his bone is gone. He's and like, he was there's like, there's nothing I could do for you now. <laughs> well, it's because there's so much, like, it would entail a team. He's like, there's not much bone to work with. Yeah, and he said it would destroy my shin. and Yeah, and with all your history of what no. you have done, so it's not like, he's an amazing surgeon. It was just, it was sad because I, I really trust him, and I really like him, and so for him not to be on our knee, I was like, oh, to go somewhere new. For me, that's hard. Um... Uh, with all that kind of thing. So I was really, really happy when it was him. But then, you know, praise God, your surgeon that you did, he did refer you to ended up being just right for you as well. A really great 
yeah. uh, person as well. So that is very helpful. Yes, Arlene, I had a, a full knee revision, um, meaning they had to take out a replacement and put in a new uh, redo it. Yeah, her it was severely infected for seven years and nobody knew, and it completely detached from the shin, her first knee replacement. Just like a crazy fluke thing. So we finally got this new one in, and a year later, after mm -hmm. trying to heal for a year, um, it's acting up again. Hey, Elisa's here. Has it been two years? <gasps> Hi! <laughs> yeah, it's almost been two years. It'll be two years now. Mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Two years this, this month. Yeah. What's happening, Jobs? What up, what up? How have you been? Oh, ladies, I am so grateful you were here. Right? I've missed you all so much. Such a good it's... feeling. <laughs> I just needed to do something, and I don't know. It's been one of those, like, it's hard to get into, like, uh, you know, like, motivating yourself to find the time. Well, our little one now doesn't take naps, so that was a big thing, and she's been back to work full time, so was she owns, you know, her two jobs, so it's like, that was the other thing, is, um, it's, it was a big adjustment for me, uh, for those who are watching the channel, on the, uh, playback, um, and don't know us, uh, like, I'm autistic, and so, um, change is, can be challenging, <laughs> the yeah. least and little or big good or bad it's still change and it's still hard so to adjust so that was part of the changing of the rules and the time and everything so it just kind of happened all at the same time too like he just kind of he needs naps he just doesn't want to take them so it's like okay <laughs> unfortunately and that's I when I are is when he sleeps so yeah and I'm working from home so I'm working most of the time while she's taking care of him so by the time, and it was like that when he was baby, but he didn't move. So I didn't, it wasn't, you know, and then we didn't also do YouTube. So <laughs> we started YouTube when you had your knee surgeries. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just been an adjustment. Kara likes the idea of the trays. Mm. They're, they're by Tim Holtz. Yeah. Ranger brand. Um, they're just literally, and you can... You can use this as a mixing tray, if you can see, I don't, yeah, if you can see the squiggly over my face, but, um, and it collapses, so, and I, and I leave a little tab on to hang it, so I hook it like that to store it, it's very thin, um, and you can take it anywhere on the go, so, and you can get wherever you want to go, if there's like, you know, like, if you're flying or whatever, you can buy alcohol where you are, you know what I mean, <laughs> like, um, so, or, for example, like, this is like a portable little alcohol bottle. I don't, you can have, what, eight ounces or whatever? So as long as it's in your, you know, carry-on or something. I don't know if you could put it on carry-on, but if it could be in, maybe in a regular bag. But like I said, you can go wherever and get alcohol at a store there, so you'll at least have your inks. Arlene says, um, Scarlett, you're such a nice person. Carrie, I pray your new knee will stop mm -hmm. acting up. Thank you, Arlene. Thanks, Arlene. We appreciate <laughs> it. She's a pretty cool gal, I think. Who? You. Oh, bless you. I like you too. <laughs> Arlene says it looks like a watercolor palette. Yeah, it does. Uh huh. That's the thing. That's the concept. So basically, you fill whatever colors you want, and it, it a little goes a long way, like a couple drops, and then you know you let it dry, evaporate, and once it dries, then it, then that reactivation is where you can really get your money, your like stretch your money's worth in a sense of the ink. Um, yeah, right. As opposed to just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it really does go a long way. But it's fun, you know? And that's what I was attracted to alcohol inks so much because it was so similar to watercolor. And I love, 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 love to watercolor. So it was just like. So awesome of a transition, you know. And for those who just came in, 
Uh, I have texture paste that I added onto here with um, uh, it's crackle paste by Golden. So I'm just uh, I put little splatters. It was like a stencil. I don't know why I struggle and I keep like stuttering it. I'm like <laughs> yeah, so. And this is a photo paper on the glossy side, so it doesn't like reactivate like a UFO would. So if you want to use photo paper and you can't afford to buy UFO paper because it's ridiculously overpriced, um, mm -hmm. I buy the, you can, and you want it to do UFO like similarities, then use the back of your photo paper. And, and then it's just like UFO, working on UFO, so. Hmm. There was a blue that I wanted and I don't see it. Might be in this one. I think the drive is just purple too. I'm gonna check out my purples real quick. So, and I make, um, you know, like swatch cards. Oh, that's interesting. So, <laughs> um, so I just make swatch cards with the alcohol ink too, and then I can put it in here, and I know where it is in, in my trays with the names of everything. So, and then as you can see, I just mix and reactivate and mix and wipe it off if you want, or you can leave it so you can just make fun little weird colors. <laughs> um, but yeah. She's so organized. I love it. <laughs> I wish I was as organized as you are. I don't feel as organized nowadays. <laughs> I feel like my brain is stretched thin. You know? Even though the texture paste is lifting a little bit, you think if it when it gets wet with the alcohol ink, it'll <laughs> settle back down. down. Well, I have to be careful because it'll like pick up on my brush or disintegrate, oh, okay. you know, because it's alcohol ink. So you don't want to put like it's not like water, you know what I mean? Right. So it can like eat it away. John says she's loving it so far, Scarlett. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I just like. Um, musical things like I don't know how to paint and it totally reminded me of like I said my coloring book I have by Tom Collins he's just got this imagination and this fun whimsical way of, of drawing and that's what it totally felt like one of those kind of styles so um, I just thought it was cool to do to play with and you know, like I said, this is more of like those challenging ways to paint because, you know, you got to be quick and it stains and then once it dries, that's it. It doesn't really reactivate too much. So, you know, you want to be fast in your playing. Okay. I see some bangles stuck to the... Oh, you guys, Maddox has been... Max and I dance outside and uh he's got his little Fred Astaire and, <laughs> going and he's starting to just super love dancing I mean he dances like he's no one, always though no he's one always is watching I love it yeah he it's not like just he literally is always um because I'm real big in, music. into music I always have been mm -hmm. and so I'm always playing music and yeah, he, he was begging us yesterday for dance classes. Yeah, we actually, I don't know, we were playing outside and we were like looking at the clouds trying to make images out of the clouds. And he was like, Mommy. And he just got up and he said, Mommy, can I have dance classes, please? And his please was, please. So <laughs> cute. That was, it was so random. Was He's like, got this little oh, hippie, sure. hippie shape. <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> he is adorable. 
his his new thing right now is saying excuse uh oh sorry i misspoke <laughs> when he messes up yeah. saying something you I mean something spoke. else he's like excuse me sorry i misspoke <laughs> a little three month you're night Kara. he says it's 10 p.m here have a great evening yeah. i'll come back to watch a video okay. night off good night kiss your sweet little babies yeah, you spelled it right, Arlene. Um, and music is so good for the children, even the elderly. You're right. Um, yeah, he's, he's always. A, he's like an old soul. He is an old soul. He's three and a half. Hmm. In December, he'll be three and a half. It's yeah. not December. So the end of December. <laughs> Come on, don't be aging my chat. Oh, oh well. That's okay. I'll figure it. I'll do something different. I wasn't expecting to do that there. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I have to make sure that he is growing up fast, Monica. Mm -hmm. He's so stinking and cute. I have to make sure it's appropriate music. Yeah, well, we just uh, got a jewel. Um, she apparently made kid songs. I was like, go oh, figure. And so it's like, it, there's certain songs that are her own thing. I don't know if they're songs from somewhere else, but there are some like Oh Susanna, but it's like her own spin on it. And it's super neat. So I like that. And, um, and that was, we were like, so where's that's... the kids songs on like radios? Like we couldn't, I'm like, I think we have to buy like a full on music. Like I'm like, I cannot. So that's what we did. And he's been enjoying that. But yeah, if you do this normal, you could totally fill up the whole tray. Like, I used every single color, and it's two full trays, I think, or close to two full trays. Well, every single color before the new colors came out was, like, one full tray, and then this much. Can I even see what I'm doing? No. Ann Richards. <laughs> Hi, Ann. She says, oh, my... I finally am seeing you both again. So nice. I know. Clara I'm Lawrence. So howdy, howdy. <gasps> this Clara. Yeah. What's up, girl? You're still up? Yay. Monica wants to know if the tray is easy to clean. If what? The trays are easy to clean. Yeah, you literally just wipe it out with alcohol. It's no different than watercolor cleaning. Um, but the thing is, is like I said, you could keep your, your all of them in there, let them dry, and then... And it's not even two full, two, you know, two of these are, I think, that's my third one. How many colors was it? Hold on, let me see. Thanks for showing up, Clara. I think, yeah. I think. Because you can make your own palettes, whether it's, like, landscape colors that you choose or, you know, or, and do color swatch. So this is, like, one full palette. And, um, so it was one full palette and, um, and a half, and a almost half. a little yeah. over a half, I want to say, because, you know, this didn't take a full one up. Um, and then the new, new colors came out. And so I added the, some of the new in here cause I, I forgot that I had space in my other, my second palette. So I just put some over here with some random things, but, um. So yeah, so you can literally have every, own every single brand and it be carried in, within two palettes. So that you can make any palette be whatever you want it to be, whatever colors. And if you do want to like clean it out and just reuse or whatever, constantly change it, then I wouldn't fill it all the way to the top and then let it dissipate. I would just like dabble it like I'm doing now and, you know, and then it's just alcohol and wipes it out. But it is fun just like watercolor to have like those colors mixed like on your palette and kind of keep it like make its own interesting um color oh carol says she's watching and arguing with you cool yay 
How's oh, your name, funny. Carol? What are you earning? Yeah, how is your name? See, like, I have to be really soft because it's dissolving. See, with the with the alcohol, I mean, it's so light. Oh, yeah. But I have to be really careful. It's just like patting it on, you know? Right. With the texture. How is Herbie? What did she say? Mm -mm. Oh. She says, okay, however, still need to work on the strength. Yeah. And gems aren't very popular That's, these days. Well, <laughs> and well, even um, we call it physical therapy. Yeah. Ooh, oh gosh, right? It, swimming would that. be the best. Yep. Yeah, I miss that for me too. <laughs> Carol <laughs> says I'm so over the exercises for real. <laughs> But you got to keep on them for a long time, like just push, 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 because was, that's what will save you in the long run. I was run. thinking about putting my Dyna splints back on. I haven't worn them in a while. Where did my dish go? Here. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to do a blue over here. I'm loving that purple oh, on top. I put, I put I'd accent a red up there and I didn't mean to. I meant to put blue. But that's okay because I can just. That's just gonna make it purple now. <laughs> but that's alright because I'll, I'll blend it. It's kind of fun to have a undertone anyway, you know? Mm hmm. Arlene says, I have not been to the gym since March. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's a Honestly. Petri dish. <laughs> For real. It is. But it always has been, though. <laughs> Truly. A little cesspool. <laughs> yeah, especially all the sweaty sweats. But she says, I've lost all my strength and gained back pain. I know. I'm calling oh. it COVID-35 because I've gained like 35 pounds. COVID-35. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ridiculous. <laughs> And that doesn't help the knee out at all. No. Um, That's what I miss most, though, is swimming. Oh, my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Arlene <that>. says LOL. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be more like COVID-55 for me, then. Aw. Probably. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. We printed it, Ann. Mm -hmm. She asked if you printed it. Yeah, so um, earlier I explained that this was, I found, I had done like googly search uh, free line art. line art on Pinterest, and this was one of the things that popped up, and then I was like, mm. today when I looked at it, it showed something like a price, and I was like, wait, what? So when I looked at it, um, I could not figure out on the Etsy the person. It just looked like they sold prints, like they just made prints and sold them, but they weren't the people, the actual artists. So I'm like, and there's all this music notes, so I wasn't sure if that was like somebody's signature down in there, but it looks just like music notes to me. So I'm like, I don't know if they were really creative, but I'm like, I can't find who the artist was that drew this, um, but they're really neat and. So, um, but I don't know. It was, that wasn't the place wherever I pinned it from, saved it. It, it wasn't, they didn't obviously make it. So, and there was no name to be had on what, so I don't know how that quite works. But I, I printed it and then I was able to, um, what do you call that? Um, I, and then I just printed it black and white because it did have its own like a little bit of color, like kind of random haphazard. And, um, I don't know, I just saw it and I just immediately was like, oh, that looks like, like Tom Collins coloring book, like kind of thing. And I love violin and like music stuff I like to do. So I'm like, I'm totally going to have fun with this. And just, um, so I print it and then I, um, glued down to, uh, MDF board cause then I'll, I'll add, um, Resin. thank you. I was like, what is it? <laughs> Tracy yeah. Kramer's with us. She says, absolutely brilliant. Hey, Tracy. I love this. Well done. Thank you. 
yeah so I put and then I added crackle paste um, which you guys can't see because it's so light but if you can hit that I can hit transition so they can see it close up uh, uh. Uh. okay that's the cord I'm worried about <laughs> I mean, since um, life is too short to worry about the weight, we can take care of it after vaccines. <laughs> the weight of what? Our weight. Oh, I know, right. There you go. So see, um, so it's splatter. I just used a stencil from, like, the Tim Holtz stencil that I love. Like, I love splatter stuff. But this is like, you know, like you spilt coffee or something stains <laughs> is what that one's from. Because it has, like, I don't know, rings on a cup and things. So I just, like, placed it. Sorry. <laughs> Huh? Carol says, yes, I agree, Arlene, as I'm shoving chocolate bullets in my mouth. Bullets? <laughs> um, but see, so this is like, you know, the music's coming out, but then you also have like a nighttime scene within the thing. Um, there's a person dancing mm, or walking. Pose. Maybe they're not dancing. <laughs> they're walking. In my mind, they're dancing. <laughs> see, and these are all the music notes. And then... And, like, I was like, is that a, you know, somebody, but it's just a music note, so, and, like, over here I wasn't sure, but they're just music notes. Yeah, I didn't see that lamp post until now. That's cool. I, it's the first thing I pointed out to you when I showed you the thing, thing. But, yeah. I have short-term memory loss. Yeah. <laughs> you just have selective hearing. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, as you can see, so this is the pink and the purples with the blue. So it's just fun, you know. I just want to do like pops of color. Sorry, I'm making you guys dizzy right now. <laughs> Going on the merry-go-round. <laughs> Monica says, "Oh wow, that looks amazing." Thanks. And then I wanted to possibly maybe even add some little like Julie jewels or whatever, bedazzle it, and then Ooh, bring it. Stretch. <sighs> just I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I just brain fart things. Yep. So. Anne says, Carol, I have the red wine to go with your chocolates. <laughs> Arlene loves your aardvark scarlet. Do you play an instrument? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do anything talented. Yes, you do. What are you doing now? Well, you know what I mean? Like, naturally. She's always saying she has no talent. I'm like, are you <laughs> kidding me? I'm like, you are an amazing artist. <laughs> Thank you. Don't give yourself enough credit. Sorry. Well, I mean, like, yeah, no, I would love, what I love is, like, violin, saxophone, um, friend, drums. friend Debbie plays the saxophone. Uh, I love, I've always loved sax, and I love drums, and violin, and, um, the harp. And then that thing that's, like, it's, like, flat, and people are, like, <laughs> mm. it's, like, lots of like strings down here and they're like they like pluck it I think to me I don't know it just sounds but they're like they do it looks like a dance with their hands they like do this they're like ding 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 and they will like like we like I don't know just watching them do this is amazing you know I like congos like I don't know I like all sorts Carol the size is 12 and a half by 18 and it's three eighths of an inch thick MDF and I polycrylic two coats um at least two coats of polycrylic top bottom and the sides yeah after the spray after i spray painted it with the white. a white primer ann says you have 1.64 k subscribers shows your talent scarlet well i have 1.1 oh bless you Aaron. what does that mean i have 1.1 1.64 k no 1.64k, what does that mean? Is that like a running 1,064 subscribers. Oh, subscribers. Mm -hmm. I was like, is that like a running Arlene, thing? Like Arlene kilometers? Says, <laughs> yes, you do, Scarlett. You're an amazing artist. <laughs> oh, you guys are sweet. Very, very blessed. Abstract, you. abstract impressions is here. <gasps> Oh, Arlene, the printer, is the printer from God. You have no idea. It's the Canon Pro 1000. 1000. It's huge. Yeah, that was a lot of saving. Yeah. And then I had it for a whole year before I could figure out how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> but they were really kind. They, like, walked me through it over the phone because I was, like, looking at this printer that I was, like, 
saved and worked really hard for it to get and um and then I couldn't use it because <laughs> I was yeah, like it took what? me all day with Canon to get it to communicate with our computers no yours was fine it just refused mine yeah but it wasn't downloaded it didn't have long. a problem with the Mac <laughs> It was it was the PC that didn't connect. With oh, uh, well, it was because you didn't download the right thingy. Apparently, <laughs> oh, she's such a PC hater. And says K equals thousands. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know why I was saying kilometer. Like I didn't understand, <laughs> and I was like kilometers. Like what is she talking about? Monica wrote one thousand six hundred and forty. <laughs> Bless you all. <laughs> For you're so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I'm like so slow and bad, dude. I'm like, Mur. the moment I hear, I hear numbers, I'm like, doo, 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 doo. it's a killer printer. It'll print um, thick watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. That's my thing. That was my jam. I was like, I'm, I am so frustrated not being able to use the thick watercolor paper that I want to use. So that was like, that was the thing. It was like, and also we can reprint, you know. Um, it's got a huge range of colors, so we can print, you know, I can reprint my, my art, because what always stressed me out is when somebody wanted to buy something that I did, and I only had one image of it, and multiple people, and I felt so bad, and I was always, like, really stressed out about that, I felt, like, really bad, and, um, you know, and you can always try to paint something, but it never comes out the same, right, because it's a fluid art medium, right? So it's like, you know, you just never know. And, and this way, you could reprint something you did over and over and sell them, you know, the print. So that way people can have the exact colors and style that they felt they saw to begin with that they fell in love with. Or, you know, do another another one if they don't mind. But this way, give them that option. So, because I was really, really, really wanting um, to have that. Like, I'm not, I felt bad, so... Um, Arlene asks if it prints nice colors. Yeah, in fact, I can show you if you can get it. It's on the kitchen table, baby, the glass table. Remember the my watercolor? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll go yeah. grab it. Yeah. We it, actually, yeah, it was really well, and um, and this was on like some cheap photo paper I printed on too, on top of it. So like, obviously, the higher quality photo paper you use, the better the image. Um, I'm a little stiff getting up. I know, I'm sorry, I'm like leaving, but. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, but yeah, so. So I'm just dabbing the color, because like I said, when it comes to, um, smarter. Sorry, I thought you I actually thought you painted this one. I did. No, I mean painted on to this. Oh no no I paper. No, I watercolored it the image and then printed the image. It was like the first time we tested, remember because I wanted to know right. if it would go through like I was like worried. <laughs> so I got some cheapo photo paper just to test the image to print to see if it would work. Because I didn't want to waste. Yeah, sorry, I was just trying to show them that I was dabbing over here. Like, adding some some blue tones. But see, it's so it's such a thin, it's kind of starting to flake a little. Um, but what I could have done was, like, scuff this, because it's such a... I should have, like, scuffed it a little, so that way it would have stayed, stuck down a little more. Um, you know? Uh... Karen says, I just finished two countertops for one of my landlord's small apartments. Oh, cool. She says, if I'm excited. If he likes them, I might get to do more as he has 45 rental units. Nice. nice. Good for you, Karen. Oh, I forgot. I'm right at the volume. This is like, sorry, I'm like screaming your eyes' ear probably. Yeah, it's a 17-inch, Carol. Thanks, Arlene. <sighs> It prints, it prints big. Um, that was my other thing, because I like working on big pieces. Baby, can you help me, please? <laughs> um. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, 
Here I got it. Mm. So this is when I had water colored. And the only thing is, like, I used a lot of, like, metallic glitter, water, like, metallic watercolors on the birds and her hair. So, like, the actual image watercolor has, like, glitter highlights. But you can always, like, add, you know, add it in after your photo paper. You can still, you can know, always do that. So you can go back and you can just add accent of the glitter and erase it all so that way people still see, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, just a little different. So it's still, like, but it's, yeah, it's. I and mean, then I don't know where the thing you think it itself is, but it's pretty rad. But it works really, really well. And it has a rear feed, so it doesn't mm -hmm. bend the paper. That, yeah, well, it has a front up feed uh -huh. and a rear feed. It has options. So you always want a printer that has a rear feed so you're, it doesn't fold it, you're, you're, you know, as it loops through. It doesn't like folds like you know what I mean it just goes straight and that'll help especially with thicker to get away with printing thicker Arlene says wow what a great print and gorgeous watercolor the paper Thank looks you. shiny thanks for getting it carry no problem it is and this is like a cheapo too it's not even expensive it's just like cheapo so it's yeah it's a it's a photo paper so it's glossy you know photo paper I didn't do mad on that one I just grabbed some my quick quick cheap Oh, um, Clara says Carrie might want to bring the image back in of the art she's working oh. on. <laughs> Would still like to see you guys too. Thank you, Clara. <laughs> Bless you, Cliff. Transition. Like, right? It's been a minute. <laughs> I was just looking at my hair. I'm like, oh, I didn't even brush it. Sorry, baby. It's okay. <laughs> it's a long day. Oh, was, yeah. Well, she had a <laughs> listing, and you had to you had to take a person to see a house, and then write a contract up, and all that jazz. So. Yeah. Did she text Miss Judy? I did. I'm not gonna text her again. Maybe she didn't get it. Sometimes you know that happens. I'll text her right now. So originally, it, like if this was watercolor paper, I could get away, or Yupo, I could get away with like, you know, splaying out the ink all crazily. But again, since it's the glossy side of the photo paper, it's a, it dries really fast. Um, so you, because of that, you gotta like transition think like how would this best work for me to blend things and it look not so uh, uh, harsh lines, you know, or whatever. So you just gotta gotta play around with it and make sure you got enough on there to blend it out. In a fun way, you know. Texted Miss Judy Sand again. Mm. Okay, so. This is always like a really fun thing. Like, if I get, for me, with my autism, when I get overstimulated with things, like the best thing is, like, for me, has always been like watercoloring or alcohol and like painting, you know, like doing that kind of like, like easy. Like fun, um, and all whimsical colors and stuff. So, um, we want to do like this. I think Michelle, I think would be really good right here on this part. There she is. Judy! Hi, Miss Judy! Mm. <laughs> I misses you. <laughs> Did I wake you? Oh, she's a night owl. I know. No, she was sleeping. Was she? I don't know. Oh, I thought you said no, she was sleeping. I'm like, was she? 
Interesting that. <laughs> so this is the Marabou. It's like full on neon pink. She was asleep. Oh. Karen says, AI is the one medium I just have never been able to master. I usually end up with a muddy mess. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's definitely practice. And maybe, and maybe less ink because literally it's so, they're so concentrated. That's part of it. Like less ink. Um, just getting your, your, just like watercolor, getting your mixture down the ink to alcohol ratio. Look at that. That looks like crazy sounding. <laughs> Hi, Kate. <gasps> Miss Kate's here? Miss Kate's here. She's stalking us. Aw, hi, Miss Kate. <laughs> <laughs> she has to get up or... I know. Sweet dreams, sis. <laughs> For when you sleep, you sleep. Okay, so I wanted to get a lighter blue. And I think I'm going to try to do some of this. And maybe a little of that there. There she is. Hello, Miss Kate. <laughs> Hiding in the bleachers. <laughs> what up, what up, Doc Sam? It is so good to see all of you. So good. It really, really is a blessing to see each and every one of you right now. Oh, that is rude, Carol. OMG. Huh? Well, my, she says, well, my son just came into my art room and said, I like the concept of what you're doing, but not a fan of my piece so far. OMG, how rude. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I mean, he likes the con he's just not a fan of it himself. That's what he's saying, but it's cool, right? So is that a, is that a rude thing? I would never tell you that. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I feel like you do. <laughs> I feel like you have. I don't see that as a bad thing, right? He's just saying he likes it, but it's not his taste. Yeah, I think so. Like, it's cool, but it's not something I would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's, not, that's okay. Right. Sorry if it hurt your feelings, though. <laughs> I'm sure it's fabulous, Carol. Yeah, for sure. She Dude, does amazing stuff. Clara asked how old he was. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, is this your 18-year-old? Let's see. Where was that color I just grabbed? Oh, yes. Here. 25. Whoa, 25. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Clara says, yep, rude. <laughs> oh, is it? I'm sorry, I didn't take it as rude. I took it as even more of a compliment, like it's, you know, it's cool, but it's just not my, not my cup of tea or whatever, you know, type thing, but, I don't know, I didn't know that was rude. I'll have to remember that then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or Note don't, or don't if I say it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Arlene says my girls are 23 and rude too. Oh, I was rude at 23. That's so sad. Yep. Are you sure? Maybe it was an intentional rudeness. Maybe they're just like not meaning it rudely, mm -hmm. but you know, like you're always the brighter your babies. side. You're <laughs> always the brighter side. Well, you know, I just, uh, I, I hope people, because I don't feel like people intentionally, like their own parent, I don't feel like your kid would intentionally try to be mean to you, right? Like, if they're just being honest about their, you know what I mean? It's its own expression of art. <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad. I hope that's, they That's Scarlett's autism. Are. She doesn't understand social. Oh, it was rude. Annie was laughing at me. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. All right. Well, Carol says, so I told him to shut up and he has no vision. <laughs> JJ! There's my boy! JJ! What's up, brother? Oh, I love you, JJ. I miss you. I miss you so much. Right? Oh, that's so cool, JJ. How have you been, my beautiful? How's Riven? Oh, He's crazy. happy. He's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cool. Okay. So we're gonna put a little What's thing happening, here. brother? He says good, good, and good. Yay! Right on. I love hearing that for you. I love hearing that because, you know, especially in this day and age with life, what's going on, it's so good to hear. You start school next people. week. <gasps> yes! Yes! Right on. Yes! Your master's program, yeah? Good for you, JJ. That's I'm so, so proud of you. Right on, dude. It's his master's program. I'm pretty sure. Claire says, what are you learning? He's all money, big money. Make money, money, make money, money. What? Yeah. He's he's just continuing to improve on his skills and to get that paper so he can get the real paper. Mm. <laughs> I love that, JJ. I'm so proud of you. That's hard. School's hard. It is. And it's, it's no hard joke. to go back to school. Ugh. You know, like... So I am always just so proud of people who, who do that. I just think that's, that's such a huge, huge thing, you know? It really is. <laughs> Clara says, so printing? <laughs> printing? What's printing? Printing money. Oh. <laughs> he's not doing that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's not what goes on. I'm getting, I'm getting in trouble. My literal one. <laughs> JJ's dying. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning he's laughing. Yes. Okay. We got that. Carol says, oh, on top of my leg, the dog ruptured his ACL. <gasps> Ooh. Had operation $4,000 later and um. nonstop looking after three weeks, like having a newborn heat. Mm. But I did feel sorry for him as we know what knee pain is. Oh. Oh, for that sure. That is horrible. Right? And it's your fur, baby. I mean, they're just 100% pure love and innocence. Like, you, you have to be mama bear to them. Angela Montoya, how are you? Hi, Angela. Right, Scarlett's reactions are great, aren't they? And she's so literal. It's so funny. Judy and I are always messing with her. Yeah, that's yeah. not so funny. We tease her at night sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I love it them all the same. Angela said, I did, I'd get my master's if someone else would pay for it. <laughs> Oh, pay for it. I get it. I was thinking, like, take it. I was like, yeah, I'll get my master too. Somebody else would do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, for sure. Put in the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get my real estate license. I was putting in work with that. Ugh. Yeah, it's like all the school. And then to maintain all your certificates, like, you have to go back and do all the knowledge and stuff. Like, for me, like, that's... Oh, I was like, when have I ever done with school? Like, I don't mind learning things, but the school part... Mm, that was a dread for me. I'm also super severely dyslexic, so it's, it's a toll. Yeah, you had to do everything just about twice. Mm -hmm. Clara says when people mess with you, it means they love you. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to start learning to mess with people. Then. So they know I love them. Angela says I love learning in this school, but it costs money. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We're moving about. Mm. Mm -hmm. For sure. So another good tip was it Karen who was saying she was struggling with the AI aspect? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so another fun good tip is 
um, if you do paint like this versus doing like big huge ass rocks if you're getting mud to just learn to control it a little bit better is uh, you know whooshing it over to the side over here like on your palette just to kind of let the breathe the alcohol so it's not so concentrated so you're not reactivating it so heavily like this you don't have to worry about as much like I said because it's the glossy side so it stains a lot so it's kind of different but um, Wow, that is big money, JJ. Yeah. This I'm so is, proud of him. This class is $4,300. Oh. Yeah. Thought, but, yeah, but what he'll make after he takes yeah. it, JJ? The payoff will be so worth it. Yeah, dude. For sure. And just and you'll knowing be here that you compliment. Us. Oh, that too. I cannot. JJ, I just want you here. <laughs> Selfishly, of course. But I'm sure your mom and your family are going to be bummed, though, because, you know. You're, they're losing you again. But we gain you. <laughs> we win. <laughs> um. mm -hmm. And then let's see. I want to keep some deeper down here. Um. John, so she's got to get going. Good to see you both. Have a good one, everyone. Good seeing you too, John. Bye, John. I miss you. Sweet dreams. Thanks for stopping by. JJ says I should be sniffing the 100K a year. That's 1,000. Remember, we learned that today. <laughs> <laughs> a year zone after, after those. After those. So it's worth it. Better house is the goal. For sure. Yeah. I get you. I love that one. <laughs> oh, Angela says she got laid off at the end of March due to COVID and still haven't found a job. How's her <laughs> bachelor's degree helping with that? It's not. What's your degree in, Angela? Healthcare administration and management. Wow. And How did you, you, get and you laid got off? laid off? That's horrible. Jeez. That's, that's excruciating. Like, what the heck? Right? There's got to be a job out there for you. They're in such need of healthcare management. <laughs> Well, maybe things will change here in a little bit. JJ says he's learning to program lathes and mills to machine parts. Oh. Neat. Arlene says, JJ, that's quite detailed work. Okay, Angela says, I wasn't working in medical. I've been in recruiting for the last five years. Recruiting for medical? Like, that's me. Hmm? 
I hope it changes around for you soon. Yeah, we'll pray for you for sure. Definitely. That's just... So keep telling my wife we just have to keep remembering God will provide. God will provide. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough in the real estate. You know, people are like, uh, they're they don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on. But it's but it's kicking, man. It's kicking but it's still out moving. like crazy. You know? Still moving. It's actually really good. Like <laughs> it's fast, you know, because things are so low. Yeah, there's and... hardly any inventory. So when something goes on the market, it's gone. Yeah, so it's good in the back. You know what I mean? Like. So what do you think so far? I like it. Thank you. Mm -hmm, me too. Yes, JJ, you do have an eye for detail. Yeah, I love that. How long is the class? JJ says, love what you're doing, Scarlet. Very pretty. Thank you. I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun. Having fun. Which is nice, you know? Five months. And what? when do you start? Oh, my, 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 my face came off. I know. And I'm trying to stick it with the... You know what I mean by sticking it down when it dries, like the. Is that choppy? Yeah. Where is she? The thirtieth. Good deal. Well, I don't see. In, I mean, interest rates are at what two point seven five right now. At least they were today. Angela says I was working as a recruiter in telecom, which sucked. Before that, I was recruiting RNs. I'm just trying to find something, but I'm limited due to my knee and chronic back pain. Mm. You don't feel the knee. Ooh, yeah. I see another liner. I missed on the yellow. Let me get that before I forget. How are you doing, Miss Judy? Are you feeling good today? Having your second wind. <laughs> JJ says it's in person, but only 10 students per class. Nice. That's honestly rad. <laughs> yeah, especially being where you are right now. I thought they were going back in the lockdown. Well, stuff like that, that's so cool to have this small, intimate, you know, get that focus. That's, that's nice. I mean, they're small. Yeah amounts of people I feel Angela says she's had several interviews but everyone's in the same situation right yeah we'll definitely keep you in our prayers Angela yeah for sure I wonder where I should do the people the people people for me no one's a people Arlene says, Angela, don't give up. Things will turn around in the new year. God's got a plan. Definitely. For sure. He will always provide. And I'll believe for you if you don't believe, so that's okay. <laughs> you know? Our poor pup Joppy's whining at the gate over there. No, why is she in here? Because hmm? she wasn't fast enough. Huh? <laughs> when I put the gate out. 
Oh my god, we just went her over. Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go get the poor pup. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Thank you. Come on. Come on, Jack. Come on. Jack, you. You need to open the gate. I never have to. <laughs> hey, Jack, Jack. So spoiled. I never have to open the gate for her. I tried to spray paint out on this ornament. Yeah, I saw it was still light. Yeah, it's a. Uh, like. And it's cracking. Yeah, I saw it too. But it might, you know, need that for it to dry and then for it to give it some grit tooth and then spray again and it might hold better. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I don't know. The ornaments that we're trying to get the white. I just, it's high. I have such a struggle trying to get the thing to be like a solid white. It's almost ornament time. It is ornament time. <laughs> but I just need my ornament to be. Oh, oh, to be. The house I looked at today that I'm going to be listing, they had their tree up already. Yeah, we need to get ours. I know. I was like, oh. But I was like, do that day after Thanksgiving. So I'm tripping. <laughs> the belt are on me. <laughs> JJ says, speaking of New Year's, y'all better be yelling Jumanji at midnight so we can get the heck out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's funny. Monica says, no kidding, JJ. <laughs> I love that movie. Clara wants to know which character he is. And Jumanji? <laughs> yeah. I like the guy who shot the gun. Like, he was crazy, but I liked him. Because he shot. <laughs> you know, he had that in the hat, and he was like skinny little bird legs. But he was all nutty cuckoo. Like, I don't know, I really liked him. Come on, Chop. <laughs> She's under the dry rack. Yeah, she likes you there. Yeah. She just says, no idea, Claire. Whichever one makes it out. <laughs> right on, brother. Whichever <laughs> one survives. <laughs> That's funny. Just get me out of this game. <laughs> yeah, can we do over? <laughs> Okay. You like him? You like him? Mm -hmm. Ribbon is insisting it's time for his walk. Talk to y'all later. Aww. Love you, Scarlett and Carrie. Love you I too, brother. Super love you, JJ. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, that was super loud. I've been missing you, brother. Oh, give Ribbon big, big hug, squeeze, kisses for me. Lots of tongue. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Arlene says, Scarlet, this is coming along so lovely. Thank you. Thanks. You just never know. I just keep going and going and playing with it. Clara. What? What? She says TWSS. What does that mean? Twist? Twist? That's what she said. Who said what? Who said? Who said what? Clara said that's what she said. What did she say? <laughs> never mind, baby. I don't understand. I missed it or something. Monica says, yes, I'm loving the way the colors are all going together. No, oh, she's good at that, huh? Yeah. And this photo cool. paper doesn't blend well, so... Gotta be quick. Mm -hmm. No, she's so pure, Clara. But I get you. Ann says, stepped away for a bit. It's looking great. Oh, and it's so good to see you. I know. It's so good to see all of you. Right? I'm so excited by that. I have no idea. Makes me so happy. Makes me happy. No snort. We don't snort on this channel. Judy snort? says, looking beautiful, Scar. Thank you, Miss Judy. Yes, you are, Judy. Hmm? She said, looking beautiful, Scar. And I said, yes, you are, Judy. I'm doing it what you're doing. <laughs> Telling Judy she's beautiful. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry. I thought she was giving me a compliment. She is. And I just gave her one back. Oh. And here it goes. Judy and I start playing with Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> Please help. My brain is obviously slow. <laughs> <laughs> You're perfect, baby. <laughs> trying to find my color where I got my mess. But I'm not finding it. So I'm just kind of. So I'm going to do it. Peach. Peach. Lappy, I want you in my lap. I want a blankie and my dog. <laughs> so my Maddox. I want a choppy and my dashi. I want my dashi. Yeah, I had a, I had a um, carry, you know, pick up choppy and put her in the crib so he could give her a kiss goodnight. Aww. Oh. He didn't want her this morning. He was all, no choppy, no choppy. <laughs> no choppy, that's well, a what first. What are you talking about? Like every morning, the same thing. This is what we do. Huh. Me uh, and the computer and you know, you see, that, and should, that should have been assigned to you that, that he was sick. Right. If you had informed me of that, that would have been a red flag or sign to yeah. me. Yeah. That's like, the stuff she recognizes. Mm. I'm like, I don't understand. That's out of pattern. It's out of character. Something's <laughs> amiss. I'm like, whew, over my head. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. That's why we make such a great team, baby. Yeah. And we were just talking about that. The house market is hot. Um, interest rates are at 2.75. And we can't, we can't keep them on the market. We don't have enough of them on the market.
Oh, no, I just needed the part of the bottle. Little something. It's not all in there. Mm -hmm. um, Anne says she's in Phoenix. Um, mm -hmm. I'd forgotten where she was. I couldn't remember. Oh. Uh, I said I told her I had an app that can tell her what's for sale in her neighborhood, anywhere in the U.S. for that matter. Mm -hmm. So they can keep track of it. Um, Angela's asking if you drew the violin. No, I have no idea who drew the violin. I tried finding it. I couldn't find it. It was on Pinterest. And and apparently it's just somebody reproduces prints of it. So, I don't know. And um, I couldn't find that, so... And then I just printed it in black and white. It had a little bit of color to it, um, along with the black and white. So, but no, I wish I could draw. <laughs> I cannot. And I'm just trying to put in a. I put in um. Crackle, splat, uh, uh, golden crackle paste with a splatter. So that's what I'm coloring in right now is just adding some of those colors. Um, <laughs> Angela says I could draw a stick person, that's all. I can't even do that very well, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So I'm just laying... Um, pigment down on top of the crackle paste and just trying to like super lightly tap it because I didn't I didn't scuff this before I put it down which I should have so it's kind of you know can easily like peel off like that so <laughs> that's got to be really painstaking on how I'm this. But it is fun to watch because it just like you know bleeds and so that's neat. Mm. Um Let's see what else. Where'd you buy the crackle paint? Crackle paste. Uh gold from go golden from um Either Amazon or... Yeah, I think you got it off Amazon, didn't you? Yeah, I know. Miss Judy helped me, I think. Miss Judy, we get it off Golden. I remember one we ordered, maybe Blick or Miss Kate helped me. I can't remember. And then I had found one, I think, on Amazon. I got it on Amazon. A smaller version. And then I got a big one. But that might have been from Blick or... Uh, Clara said she'll fetch a link. Oh, bless you, Claire. Quick like a bunny. <laughs> She's so handy. She knows all the things. Yeah, of course, Anne. I'm here for you. If there's anything I can ever do for you, feel free and reach out. 
Yeah, Carrie just closed a sale in a different state the yeah, other day. North Carolina, actually. Yeah, so she can do all, all states in the U.S. She can help you. That was really neat. This person was kind of floundering. Yeah. Unfortunately. Thank you, Clara. Golden Paints Crackle. Yeah, I love... Love it. I just love uh, texture and... I don't know. It's always fun. And says, I love Crackle, but only use it with acrylic and not on paper. Yeah, well, I highly recommend if you have something like this, you should scrap it if you know where you're going to lay the lay it. And then, so that way it has tooth to hang on to when it dries, because I totally forgot about that. And then, like I said, I just brain farted when I was like, oh, let me try. Because um, it just comes off, so you got to be careful. But I'm going to spray it with a seal, so that way it'll help stick it on there, but I've just got to be... In the meantime, careful with um, how I'm putting it on and stuff. That looks like goofy as I got on. Gary, you were talking about how your son couldn't see your vision for your artwork. Oh, good night, Anne. Thanks for sharing. Good to see Hi, everyone Anne. again. Gotta go. Hit me Take up if you need Anne. my help. I want it. And just says, I'm trying to do something different with different materials. Can you use the texture with resin? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to resin on top of this at the end. Yes, I love using texture and resin and all the things. So, I like incorporating all the things. What is the name of that? I uh, was thinking about what you said about your son doesn't have a vision. And like with Scarlet's pieces, I never know where they're going to go. And all of a sudden, like, they just keep evolving into these just amazing pieces. Because mm -hmm. I never know where they're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> they just become it. Clara, you're so awesome. She says, after the resin has cured, and make sure it's dry completely and all the water is evaporated. Water not good with resin. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and just, you know, UV archive will spray your inks before you resin. Or even watercolor, like the, the UV archival spray that I get, that I told everybody to get. <laughs> And, you know, like Miss Erica and um, all the people. Um, it also works for watercolor. To you, so it works for your alcohol inks, it works for your watercolor. Like, you don't have to, like, get a separate thing for watercolor if you want to do. It's universal for both those. So, um, just spray it beforehand, seal it, and then let that dry. And then resin. So I don't know if you want to show them transition and show them a close up idea of what I'm doing right here on this little part. Can you hit the track? I can't reach it. Mm. Yeah, give me one second.
the reach. Uh, barely. Okay, so you can just be mindful to hold it to where it doesn't like mess up. So. Ooh, that's awfully close. Let me turn around so the light's not so much better on it. Let's see, it just blew. I'm just tapping it in to keep it. So, and as you can see, the crackle lines. You just tap it and it just kind of bleeds and absorbs into it. Hang on, I'm trying to get a... Mm, good shots, Carly. Yeah. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> Or you're tapping the paint. Hold on, let me hold it and show you. I'm just digging and it just bleeds. You can see it's coming up, so I gotta be careful. Try to put it back in place. And I'm also letting the watercolor, the watercolor, <laughs> the alcohol ink, um, get a little bit under it so that way it'll help kind of stick hoping it'll stick to the you know paper yeah thank you like that I just have to be really careful on my you know see how it just fades out it just spreads I'm going to do that a few times so it gets the edge. Oh. Arlene mean, says looks cool. Yeah. It would, oh. would have been so much easier if I had Scuffed thought to scuff. Up. Yeah. I just, I don't know. i just never done it and brain so farted. I put my finger on that. I know. Can you use tweezers? No. I got it. Okay. Hmm. I just need to get some um, alcohol underneath this part so that all the wetness will oh, okay. stay. So as you see, it kind of goes on as a, like a high, hot pink, but it dries like a, a deeper purpley pink.
You're amazing. Thank you. Paris says, gotta go. Love you both. Looking great, Scarlett. Thank you. Thank you, Arlene. We need to hook up, Clara. <laughs> oh, I want to hook her up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hook up too, Clara. <laughs> But it would have to be after the holidays. She's got really busy stuff going on with her mommy and all the Thanksgiving. What, what is everybody going to do for the Thanksgiving? Anybody know? Stay home. Well, yes, but I mean. I'm going to cook my first turkey. Yes. Carrie is going to be cooking her first turkey. And Miss Judy's going to walk her through how to do that. Turkey lurkey. <laughs> So we're really excited about that. So Max can finally have a lot more turkey this year, hopefully. Yeah. When he's received the best due right. to somebody being a turkey <laughs> on a tour. Yeah. <laughs> a little turkey hoarder. <laughs> What color pink is that? Hmm? What's the name of that pink? This? Mm. This one is... Uh, the first one. Raspberry. She says, stay home. My girls are coming over and we're eating outside. Awesome. Cool. Marlene says, good luck on cooking your first turkey, Carrie. That will be a milestone. It will. Yeah, but she's got Miss Judy help, too. Thanks for that, Arlene. I need to remember to take it out of the freezer a couple days early. That's what I keep <laughs> stressing about. I was going to say, did you ask Miss Judy exactly how many days? Hmm? No, not yet. <laughs> when should I take the bird out of the freezer? <laughs> Question number one. Right? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Arlene. <laughs> You're supposed to get... Is it Miss Judy on here? I don't know if she's still with us. Oh. Uh. Good night, Arlene. She says, ladies, I have to go, too. I wish you a great evening. All right. And sweet dreams. I look forward dreams. to part two. All right. Well, definitely be a part two or maybe a part three. Pinch bellini. Good talking to you, Arlene.
Oh, I just realized you couldn't see. Can you hit the transition back? Or right here. <laughs> Put it on your face. Oh, okay. Let me push that back to the thing. Thank you. It's like straight. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! I got it. I got it. Just get, me, get my chair back. Get my chair back. Yeah, get my chair back. Oh, we just had a little alcohol spill. Oh, my laptop. <laughs> right at the laptop. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be okay, though. Pick it up and wipe it. 100%. Don't let it drip on anything, please. Well, it hasn't short-circuited yet. Oh my god. Monica asked if it's okay. Can you hand me the jar? Yes. Uh, it's 12.7 pounds, Arlene. Please take it back. Yep. And Is that a big one? 12.7 pounds? What? Turkey. Sounds big to me. She says a big one may take three days. Bye. <laughs> three Bye. days to thaw? Yeah. So I should take it out. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. It's 12. Yeah, it's almost 13 pound turkey. I don't know. Google it maybe then. <laughs> Mr. <Mysteries. laughs> like the... Uh, I think we're okay. Take a deep breath. We're good. Is it on you? Uh-huh. Monica says at least two days for sure. Okay, thank you. What day is it? Shame. Yeah, Monica says scary stuff there for a moment, gals. Yeah, right? Yeah. But we're good. love those splatters like I never would have thought to put those splatters down it's so cool yeah well because I wanted to be able to splatter I knew it wouldn't with the photo paper uh-huh like I knew it wouldn't um I knew it wouldn't um do it the way I would like so, I thank you for pulling that. Okay, scooch it up for me. Yeah. yeah, I knew it wouldn't uh, water, you know, like you could do one of you, like, or a water cut. Like, I just knew it wouldn't do that. Yeah. And did the shape that I wanted, so I was like, I really need a. Oh my goodness, I just had a heart attack when that. And I was like, I saw it on my computer, I was like, <gasps> Like that was so stressful. Um, so yeah, I was like, Ugh. I just love your creativity. I love that you come up with stuff like that to do. I wouldn't think of things like that to do. Oh, thanks. Oh, you're pretty creative in your glasswork and stuff. I feel like you do naturally do stuff like that too. 
you know. Who's, who's all here with us? Yeah, but that's a whole different... Oh, camera angle? Did we transition back? <laughs> I'll get it. That's what we were in the middle <laughs> of doing. That's what we were doing, right? That's what the problem was. Whoa, whoa, you just highlighted all that. No, no, go up. No. Go up and tap. Like tap because it's highlighted. Put it over. Somehow you made it big. Tap, tap. Yeah. And then put it, no, no, put it back in the center. <laughs> center Sorry. <up. laughs> Sorry, Doc Fan. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Up, up, up. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> thank you, Monica. <laughs> Bless you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for giving. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I was going to say first day for alive. Mm hmm. Like <laughs> Aeon. Monica says, it's not that I didn't enjoy seeing you ladies. <laughs> right? It's all about us. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, Joppy snoring. Yeah, that's cute. chair. <laughs> Okay. Monica, what have you been working on lately? She's doing some crazy awesome like trays and like um holders and she's doing some cool stuff. She always does really beautiful work. Mm -hmm. You do super beautiful work with Monica. Oh, just doing some resin pieces. 
Oh, she's so modest. Just a little, little this that. A fantastic awesomeness. Right. <laughs> She gave you a big smile for that. Mm -hmm. She says she has a vanity tray that needs a clear coat tonight. We'll be posting it tomorrow night. Ooh, that's where I can think of vanity tray. Like mm -hmm. she's doing some really cool like dishes, like thing, like all sorts of really cool stuff. She says thank you for the compliment, Scarlett. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Everything you've done is just so pretty. Scarlett stays up late night watching you guys. Mm-hmm. 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 Monica's got to run. She says it was very nice to see you both and watch your magic again, Scarlett. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, Miss Monica. I really appreciate you being here. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Miss Monica. Keep up the good work.
Donna Parker Artistry. Hi, Donna. Hi. <laughs> afternoon, everyone. How are you? Hope you're all well. Hi. Ooh, afternoon for you. Right. Wow. Where, and Donna, where do you live? Okay, so I got that. So I'm going to go up three days here. Actually, I want to get a little bit of Where are you checking in from, Donna? Australia. Adelaide, Australia. Yeah. She I says, was wondering because the Aussie, like, because yeah. it's the afternoon, so I was like, hmm, where are you? We were even talking about that when we got on, just before we got on live. We're like, I wonder if we'll see anybody from Australia tonight. Yeah, for Aussie. Well, yay. She says, I watch all the time, but don't usually talk. Oh, I'm so glad you decided to talk. Yay, how cool. How are you doing? She says, we've just come out of lockdown, so I'm fantastic. Thank you. Oh, wow. We're like, our state is like the highest in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And then I think Cal is the second highest after that. So that's fantastic that you finally get to come out of lockdown. What was the first thing you did when you came out of lockdown? Do you have like an idea of like, I'm going to definitely go here or something? <laughs> she says, hang in there. Yeah. yeah, this is one day at a time, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind having to be home personally. <laughs> When it's like getting bad and you just never know what's up and who cannot get it or who can get it really bad, like long term, side effect, all that. So, you know, it's okay to, for me to just stay home. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little nerve wracking. I had to go look at a house today with a family and the other family was home and there were quite a few people involved. Makes things kind of. First thing I did was come home and just take off all my clothes. <laughs> and wash them. Yeah, like don't touch me. Taking off my clothes. Yeah, we have a system. Thanks to yours truly. You're mm -hmm. welcome for all the OCD people out there in the world. Yeah. Find your OCD friends. <laughs> they'll give up you. <laughs> I absolutely wear a mask. Absolutely. And gloves. Don't. And gloves. Yep. And always long sleeve everything so we could just immediately dump. Like, I have the, she doesn't touch anything. I have it all opened. She disinfects outside in the garage. And then she comes straight in, immediately has her clothes off, and puts them straight in the washer. I close the lid, the, the, the open, all the stuff's in there. I just close it and push start. 
and then she goes a specific beeline from the house to the shower, which is open and on, and then she just washes and then closes it inside of the door, and then washes the door after she's closed it, of course. So, yeah, we have a very big system. And everything in this house, whether it's mail or anything, we clean, clean, clean. <laughs> Donna says she bought art supplies, LOL. Good for you. Right? No kidding. You actually went to an art store? Ooh. Now that's exciting. This charcoal paste came up on this one. Come on. There. <laughs> Once I seal it, it'll... It'll stay. She says her great granddaughter was born five weeks premature and lives with us, so we're a bit OCD as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, bless you. That's awesome. Right. What a blessing. And yes, she did go to an art store. That's so cool. That is very, very cool. Ooh, if I could go to Aisle, if I had the money one, and then I could do it, I would do it. <laughs> I won't let her. <laughs> no, yeah. I meant like if everything was like fine. I know. I respect you, Kara. I respect you. I do all the hunting and gathering. Mm hmm That's what I want. I mean, why am I not getting the right colors on I wanted? That's why. I'm glad I'm from the wrong area. says it warmed my heart walking in there. I got so excited. Oh, I bet. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> All the smells and the sights and the... Actually being able to touch <laughs> things. All right. Was it, like, stocked really well? Like, that's the other question. Like, is there stuff in there to, mm. like, look through? Like, a lot of things? Or is it just, like, trickle things? I think that's always the other question. Like... Are the things there? What? Do you know? My phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Nice phone. She said it was fully stocked. Sweet. Score you. So did you like break the bank going? <laughs> did you like I pray? <laughs> like just like dunking stuff in the car? Get crazy. <laughs> I'd be like la 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 la. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> How could you not? <laughs> <laughs> You're like you know on the car with your leg kicked right. out like. La. <laughs> Get four of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Long as you never know if you're going to go back into quarantine. Scarlet buys everything in quantity. And then when when this whole plague hit. Plague. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, aren't you glad I buy everything in quantity? And bulk, I was like, baby. yes, baby, I am. Yeah, I'm a bulk shopper. Because I don't like going outside because people and places and smells and sights and sounds and Textures and everything overwhelm me, so I tend to be a bulk shopper. And that ended up suiting us because apparently the world decided to take everything and then some. <laughs> it was like a zombie apocalypse happened <laughs> out into the stores, and we were like, uh. So it was a good thing we had. And the cool thing, too, is if people didn't have, we could give them our stuff. Like we had stuff to give. So when no people were literally, I was like, I can mail you it if you need me to mail you it. Like, 
you know, to like, you know, toilet paper, things like that. Like, or at least, you know, we had it to give, too. Vamps here. <sighs> Vamp. Right? She says, I'm beat about to pass out, but I miss you guys Aww, and that great scarlet you. laugh. Oh, thank you. I miss you too, Vamp. Oh, thank you. Donna um, says she bulk shops everything myself, too. See? We're smart. <laughs> you two are two peas in a pod. That's right. I think, honestly, most art suppliers are probably like that, though, honestly. I think most artists tend to be like... Well, maybe not most. I don't know. I feel like we tend to be like art hoarders. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like bulk buyers. I remember and... what my studio looked like. Right. Mm -hmm. Hoarder. That's for sure. Yeah, so I feel... You're like the black hole for glass. <laughs> Stained glass, the yeah, ashes. So. Donna says she's, she kept her family in stock of everything. That's awesome. Yeah. See, and that's the thing. It's like, this way you don't go out, make less trips, all that, like, really helps, you know? And it's really stressful when my, for my wife to go out. She gets really, she has to get in her zone, listens to music. But she gets, you know, she gets stressed out, I guess, so. And this keeps that less frequent. You Bam. know, stops to having to go. Ma'am says, great to see you guys. I also bulk. Aww. I have all the alcohol for art, not drinking. Nice. Nice. Girl. Now that's a score. Oh. <laughs> that's a score. Look at you. Bam says those splashes are awesome on that picture. Right? right? That's what I was telling her. So I used Crackle Paste because you're in light, so. Um, bless you, Vamp. I used um, Golden Crackle Paste and, um, and like, put it on uh, there. Put it on um, throughout the piece. And what I didn't think to do, because I have, I, this is, you know, the glossy side of photo paper. So I should have scuffed it before I um, applied it, but eh. And then I'll I'll spray seal it in anyway. So I just have to be really light and and specific when I spot uh, treat this. So. Donna says the whole picture is awesome. Oh bless you, thank you, ladies. That is so sweet. I'm pretty fond of it myself. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually coming out really fun. Mm. So that's nice. But it was a, 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 what do you call it, a stencil. I see, that's why I keep stuttering. I want to say stamp and stencil is the word I'm <laughs> stuttering on. That, and then I did the crackle paste, so. Bam says it's super cool. I love when things are just a little different and not so clean. Thanks. Me too. I love splatter and drip. I just love that kind of look and feel. It's always fun. I know her skulls are amazing, aren't they, Donna? Oh gosh, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, those are pretty rad. Vamp ass, are those people dancing in it? Yes. Yeah, right? Good job, Vamp. <laughs> wow, you got good eyes. She does. Yeah, so it's like all the different lights, and then there's the music notes, and then there's music notes down in here throughout the bottom, and and they're like, I think they're dancing. They could be walking, but my visions are dancing because all the music. <laughs> and then the lanterns. That's cute. I like it. Dancing in the moonlight. Mm -hmm. Careful, careful, I'm monetized. Or did get me demonetized? Be careful.
Bam says, I have to watch tomorrow. I love music type pieces and it's romantic. Mm hmm. Right? Exactly. Donna agrees dancing. Uh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, there's <laughs> movement to this piece. Yeah, that's what I feel. That's my. That's my. Take on it. Mm. <laughs> yep, YouTube. I know she's always having to put me in check because I'm always singing songs. Mm -hmm. No, and it's sad because I love that you do that and hearing that, but I'm like, <laughs> like not right now. I love crackle paste. I'm glad it makes you happy. It super does. <laughs> it really does. Oh my god, I love it. Donna says, I love working to music, but when I record, I can't, so I have to stop myself from humming. Mm hmm, mm hmm. This one's a hummer. Yeah, I definitely am a hummer. But uh, my humming doesn't um, it doesn't get me demonetized because it's just it's like my own. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm humming. <laughs> but it's not like actual lyricy music stuff, so I, I know, can. But when she gets into her zone, mm -hmm. she gets a little rock on and a little hum on. No, Vamp, this is not a commission. No, it's not a commission. But hopefully somebody will be very happy purchasing it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want it. Of course. Um, yeah, I just want to have fun. <laughs> is that the same thing? Is that like a bat? Am I? Uh huh. Oh gosh, do you mind put, doing this like right in here? It's just I'm getting the kink. Vamp says it looks huge. It's twelve and a half by eighteen. On it's, yeah, it's actually a good size. It's like a perfect size, I think. It's three like, eighths MDF. Yeah. Okay, here's, a, here's the bottom of the fingers. She says, but I'm delirious. I can't tell. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's a good big. You know. It's like not too small, but not too yeah, huge. Yeah, it's a per it's a good size. I think it's a perfect size. Yeah. Rub it, baby. Rub it. <laughs> rub it, rub it, rub it. Yeah, in there. Yeah, that's like, it's like this little. Yeah, like in there. Mm. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Easy, because I don't want to get kinky kink. Like one of this. Mm -hmm. Need a little bit, a little bit of this, I think. Oh. No, I need my Valencia, that's what I need. A little bit of my Valencia to make it just a hair darker. Okay, I'm gonna resin this afterwards. So. I just wanna Yeah, I love that Valencia. It's a great orange. It is a great orange. It's like the perfect little Bamp says it's a great size, especially for hallways, foyer, powder rooms. Mm-hmm. Really is. Coming to a powder room near you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sorry. Thank you. I was like. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's do some fun. 
I'm showing up here. Yep. So as you can see, splitter, splatter, splitter, splatter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a close up. I always do a close up at a mortar to end. Cause I don't say this. I did it wrong. Yeah. I need it this side. I don't know why I thought to, to rotate. says well so much so much what Donna says awesome so much what oh she's giving me some killer emojis also oh thank you can you tell me what they are uh big white eyes and then heart oh. eyes, and then clapping yeah <laughs> Donna says awesome yeah 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 awesome 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So much detail. Right? They just it's just fun working with AI. It really is. I love it. I'm talking about detail. This thing's got some crazy detail. Nothing. On chameleon. About the texture. This is all right. Oh uh, yeah. Texture. Oh. <laughs> That's a little snaggy snaggy. Yeah, hit that thumbs up, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. And like. Um, yeah, so and thinking. share. I'm going to do more like. Do the blue. Yeah, but I was going to try to do this color. Yeah, that gray blue. Mm hmm. I know she always asked me if I thumbs up the channel. I was like, oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> like a week later, I go back. I'm oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. That was the first thing I did today. What? Uh, Hit the thumbs up. Oh, so sweet. Just for you. So sweet. Night vamp. She says, miss you. Spirit hugs mm. to you both. Night. Gotta sleep. Mm. This is really super awesome. I just love it. See Aww, you too soon you. and then later, I hope. Great catching you. Yes. Night mm. vamp. Love you, girl. Oh, get your mix on. Look at you. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. And I swoop out. <laughs> uh -huh. She says, and I swoop out. Three bats flying away. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. Where's <sighs> that one?
kind of just thin out in here. But it's hard to get it to thin out when it's puddled. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, Donald wants us to move it down a little bit. There. Says it was out of a shot. Sorry. But of course. Okay. Sure thing, Don. I get so into watching her layer the colors. It's amazing. One sec. So we prepared the board. I bought a big sheet of 3 8 MDF from the local hardware store, Home Depot. Yeah, like a home, yeah. And, uh, and I cut it with my skill saw and I painted it with a white primer um, on the sides and the back and then uh, coated it in two coats of polycrylic to completely seal it and then Scarlet glued down the print to the front. Yeah, I glue it with a pH adhesive, like artist grade pH uh, adhesive, so that way it has no sticky, so you have your barrier. Um, so that way, whatever substrate you glue down, like over centuries of time, it won't it won't affect the stickiness of the glue. Will keep a barrier, so whatever it is over, no matter what you you know what I mean, it keeps it protected. So that way it doesn't affect it. And and the board can't breathe with all the mm -hmm. paint and the polyacrylic on it. Right, when you resin. Because I'm going to resin. Not You don't have to do that if you're not resining. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good. You know. I feel like. I'm happy with where it's at. My back is big. Cool. This part. This part. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is it use your palm more than digging? Like a rub if you can. <laughs> sorry, I'm having like back spasmy issues, but so got the texture and yeah, I was originally thinking about adding a little bit. I may do a little glitter gloss within the resin, but um, I was going to put a couple little jewels here or there, but I, th I think I'm not going to because because of the texturing stuff um, with the splatter. I think there's so much that I think that it would just be kind of obnoxious if I did more. Like, blend it, you know. I think I'll take away from it a little, honestly. So, yeah, I think it would too. Yeah, so I just want to... She put the crackle down um, when we were actually preparing the table. Yeah, I just brain part of that one right at the last second. I thought, hmm. The last minute thing. <laughs> yeah, we're, she was putting the, the baby took, down and I was like, la la la. It took about 30 minutes to dry. dry. It's a thin layer. It's just yeah. it's a really thin stencil and then, what did I do with the stencil? And then it's like, you know, you just bloop, bloop, bloop. So it's not thick at all. So let me show you a... Uh, 
an aerial of the thingy thing. So we can get it nice and like super close up, but like not, um, you know, blocked or whatever with the, ooh, I missed, I missed this little this right here. Hold on. I just saw a little this, this, a little this, this. And then we'll spray yeah. it with a UV archival. Yeah, I'll spray it first with the UV archival. And then after I do that, I will um, let that dry and then I'll resin on top of it. And then I'll come back in with the white spray paint and clean, clean up the edges up. in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll resin it because actually I want the paint over the sides. The white spray paint on the yeah. sides because I like to do my edges a lot better. Yeah. And um, yeah. So I think I'm happy with where it is. Where it is at. Oh, I saw wanna sing a song right now. Don't. I won't. <laughs> like don't. Where's Bev? Where's my girl Bev? Oh, right. <laughs> okay. So I think we're good here. This was better because it, it was it didn't bleed like I was expecting it to, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of I just want it to bleed a little. There. So it doesn't look so solid, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Okay. So Good job, baby. You. Thank you. Ooh. Help me try it. Yeah. <laughs> Just the edge of, the edge of this is. I think Clara put up a link yeah. for the crackle paste. Yeah, well, you can just Google it. Literally, you can get it from Blick, any art store, Blick, that held its golden products. Um, Amazon, like all that kind of jazz. Well, Donna says, thanks. I did a turtle underwater using ink, crushed rock, and resin. Mm -hmm. I sprayed it with the archival, but within two weeks, the color was gone. Really? I think there was a problem with the spray. Maybe. Unless you're using what kind of what was it though? Was it was it matte? It needs to be matte if you're using alcohol inks. Matte because, or satin. Well, that depends on the brand. That's the other thing. Right. If you're using Krylon, this and that, that has a tendency to do that. So you gotta be really careful because it will reactivate your inks. Some a lot of them. So what brand were you using and and um and you never want gloss or semi gloss, you never ever ever. Satin or matte, you're gonna go. But again, I would I would do matte overall just in case depending on your brand. She says it was matte. Okay. What brand was it? For a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn up the color real quick so you can see. Hold up, give me one second. So, gotta get the. Yeah, oops. If you can uh, do me the favor, maybe, of. Yeah, actually getting these alcohols sealed. Yeah. Okay, that would be awesome. Ooh, careful. You can see you're pushing me. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you, ma'am. She said, Judy said, what'd you spray on it? And Donna says, sorry, I can't remember the same one that Erica uses, which is... That's the one I told her then. Yeah. Then the it pylon. should be 100. I've never had a problem. Ever. No, I don't use Krylon. Oh. I told her, unless, I don't know how long ago, but Erica used to, and I told her she needed to use what I used because then she'd never have to worry ever again. Um, same with um, a, uh, Carter, uh, Dawn's channel. Maybe the, I also told her because she that would happen to her all the time and it'd be this huge anxiety thing for them all. And I was like, Oh, our by Gator? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, Dude, use your carpet spray. So um, the only thing, I don't know what you were doing, but all I can suggest is that. If you're if if it's too hot, like you need to let whatever you you're using to cool, and then if it's too hot, you can't um you know you want to let it cool first, and then um and make sure it's 100% dry. Make sure, you know because people that's the other thing a lot of people can get really heavy with the inks and the alcohol and the paper hasn't dried all the way through, and so and then because I'm heavy handed with this stuff like it don't matter, <laughs> I've never had anything leave and I can show you um you know the one I use just in case anybody watching needs to yeah, she says it only happened once yeah that must have been a freak thing but the other thing is though what could do that it can leave a film if you have it in like the garage if you don't keep it indoors that was something I found out the hard way one time too is that it was like you know from it being really really hot and really really cold um and it being low in the can, it made it all funky comedina for being the humidity and stuff and the freezing in, in the garage. So I, I keep mine indoors now, too. After that, I was like, ugh. So that was kind of a, a shame. But yeah, so there it is. That's a rad, baby. Ooh, can't get it all on the shot. How weird. Okay. So yeah, it was a, real, a lot of fun. You know, and then I will be resining this and all that jazz so sorry I'm trying to get this I hope I'm just now you're gonna get dizzy again for a quick second <laughs> Donna says that's fantastic thank you I'm carrying telling me these okay Lisa <laughs> Lizard on yeah, that's why I was like, please fill them. No, they aren't. You didn't seal. That's the second time you didn't use that with my crackle paste, too. <laughs> okay. So, this is the brand I use. The UV Archival Gallery Series Krylon and then the matte. And you can use satin because that was the only thing I had at the beginning. So, again, you could be as heavy hand as you want and you never have a problem. Just do not get semi-gloss and do not get gloss when it comes to alcohol inks and you'll be fine thank you mm -hmm. so like I said I'm gonna let this um, oh. I'm gonna let this dry first because it's a lot you know especially with the crackle again you want to let it absorb and dry from not just the surface but the underneath this is pretty much stained so I could spray I don't need it even honestly really spray it's not going to go anywhere but I will because it has like I said the crackle paste throughout it so I just want to it just is easier than trying to like spot treat <laughs> you know just do the overall and you'll be fine like I said, I've been like super heavy handed because I didn't, you know, it's like, Meh. I just do like one, maybe two max. I don't really need to because like I said, I'm so heavy handed in the beginning. I don't really need to usually. But if you do like two, if you're light handed, then maybe two. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much again for, um, I keep forgetting to always keep this face this way for everybody so that way they get to see. It. But please hit that like bu uh, button, subscribe, and um, don't forget to hit the notification bell and allow all for notifications if you are getting them, redo them, 
We are trying to go live again on Tuesdays, or excuse me, Sundays, Sundays. by 2 p.m. But again, with my wife's job, you never know. So we thought, okay, we'll try to do, you know, yeah. something. But we're trying to get back on doing lives every Sunday by 2 p.m. Um, but basically, when I can't post, I have to. Unfortunately, we can't do it every day like we used to because now I have a little one and life has definitely changed for us. So we will, we are here. We thank you for your support and your continued, um, you know, suiting up and showing up to like when we come to support us and watching and leaving the comments and leaving the likes. Um, when I post recorded videos and everything like that, I really appreciate. And I uh, super miss everyone and happy arting and God bless and I'll see you next time. Lovely talking to you too, Donna. Stay safe out there. Yes, stay safe. Bye, and happy Thanksgiving if we don't see you <laughs> before then. Yeah.